Everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, I wanna talk about something that's pretty important for those of you guys who are growing fruit trees. This is a really timely thing as well. I think we really should be focusing on doing this now because uh, the season's just starting, right? Things are, are starting to wake up in my yard, and uh, what that means is we need to apply our dormant oils. And, you know, it's getting to the point now where the things are waking up, so if you wait too long, Depending on the product, you can't really apply the product anymore because the tree is no longer dormant. I have here a product called Horticultural Oil um, from Monterey. And this stuff you can do all year. So this is really good. And what this is, it's like a refined oil. It's essentially mineral oil. It's really similar in appearance to actual oil when you see it kind of uh, dry on the tree. Um, now what this does is it smothers a lot of insects. Um, it smothers mites and that smothering really suppresses a lot of those insects now, early in the season, so that by the end of the season they're not really in an exponentially crazy rate of taking over on your trees. These things, by killing them now and eliminating them now, you pretty much will have no issues the rest of the season. So. This is a really great thing to do in the beginning of the season. Um, it also really helps with overwintering diseases, perhaps. So uh, this one in particular, it's a fungicide, an insecticide, and a miticide. It's organic. Um, it also is not gonna harm the bees. So this is not uh, harmful to us, to pets, to, um, to bees. It's really only harmful to these soft-bodied insects that we're trying to eliminate. Uh, eliminate the numbers now so that they don't expand to crazy numbers later. Um, so this is just a year-round thing that I do every single year without fail. And uh, you know, it's pretty simple in terms of applying it. Um, you know, just read the label. Depending on the product, it's gonna be different for every product. So read the label on how much it is you wanna use. What you should get is uh, get yourself just a little sprayer here. And this thing pretty much goes in here, it kind of mixes that up, it pressurizes it, and then it comes out of this wand. You can get real fancy with this. But essentially, we just want to apply this all over the tree. And rather than just spraying the trees, I wanted to show you the trees that we want to get all over. Every single branch the undersides of the branch all over these things cover the entire thing don't get a uh, real stingy with the amount of it that you're using obviously follow the instructions but cover the entire tree uh, it's really going to be a nice little benefit and these trees over here that are flowering again it's not that big of a deal what you don't want to do is use this stuff on a leaf that is expanding and um, if it's not at its full expansion point it says there on the label that it could in fact harm the leaf so you want to make sure that these things are either if they have broken bud and they're just putting out leaves it's okay but you don't want to be doing this when these leaves are much bigger than probably this stage here and this is like maybe even pushing it a bit so um, you know, it's barely right now at this point a lot of my trees are doing this and if I wait any longer I'm gonna have to wait a bit Before I can do this and this is also the perfect time because now it's like 60 70 degrees here during the day We're getting really warm temperatures and these things are becoming active again These insects these diseases all this stuff that we're trying to prevent Take the preventative measure guys. I Want to show you a couple other things um, also, when we apply this, temperature can play a part, right? So read the label. For my particular product, you don't want to apply this when it's over 90 and you don't want to apply it when it's below freezing. Um, also, when it's raining, we don't want to be doing this. You know, do this before or after a rain, I should say. Don't do this before a rain because it's just going to wash a lot of that off and it's not going to really have that effect that you want. Now, I was looking here at my peaches, which are pretty much in full bloom here. They are beautiful this time of the year, I have to say. 
but I was looking closely at the branches and at the flowers and I noticed somewhere in here, here we go, here's some ants that are crawling around along the trunks. Now, what that tells me is that there's something here that's attracting the ants. And this is always, when you see ants, it usually is a sign of either scale, aphids, probably some pest, right? When you see a, when you see a particular insect, there's something bringing that insect there. And in a lot of cases, it could be another pest. So what this is telling me is that this tree or these trees here are probably more affected by these soft-bodied insects than maybe something else. Like, let's say, my apple trees over here, which every single year, by the way, end up getting aphids. But if we use this horticulture oil, the numbers are quite significantly less. So, that's kind of it. I just wanted to go over this with you guys, tell you that this is something you should be doing, starting to think about, etc. All right. All right, guys, take care and uh, catch you for tomorrow's video. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out the new website, rossratty.wixsite.com slash blog. We have two new blog posts there, one on the pomegranates and one on, um, I think, the goals of the season. So catch you all soon. Can't wait for everything to start really growing.